proper nugget. We had to compromise on styling because we do have different tastes, but. Another thing that's massively slipped. Not in the mood. I've come back to life because I've eaten. It's a bit of chicken on the end. Sir, are you wanting your breakfast? What's going on in here? Morning chills. Morning chills. Were you a good boy on your walk today? Yes, you were. Gonna make the change. For once in my life. <laughs> we said this morning that we, well, Shell said she had a song for me. I said, how funny, because, no, get that off. And I said, it's funny you say that, because I've been thinking we haven't played a morning song for a while. She's got one. You look beautiful this morning. Thanks. I'm really trying to make an effort with my face at the moment. Me too. It's a new song. Neither of us have heard it before. Well, I think it's a banger. Banger. Written in red, Ryan County Watermelon Festival. There's a party going on. To have a little party. Oh, 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 totally crazy. Man, I feel like a woman. We're gonna rock this country. Oh, they've left the bins in the bloody drive. Also, why do they leave like random bits right at the bottom of the thing? If there's just one bit of cardboard at the bottom of the box, just chuck it on in there. Do you know what I mean? Good morning, everybody. I'm on my way to the gym. It's been such a while since I've had a regular gym routine, but this week I had PT on Monday, I did upper body on Tuesday, rest day Wednesday, today. Thursday lower body and tomorrow PT. Kind of chuffed for myself and then me, Bills and I are going to do a workout together on Sunday morning. So I'm happy with that. I had a wonderful start to the day as you saw me and Shelves doing a little boogie. Just really got them endorphins pumping, you know. Are my headphones in here? It should be. Oh, stop. Oh, here they are. Has anyone got the iPhone, the Apple headphones? If you have, can you let me know what you think of them? You know, the ones that go over your head. They look really cool, I think I want them, but I need to know if they're good. AirPods don't appeal to me at all, don't want anything in my ear, I like them to go over my head, but thinking something just like really quick, easy to use with great sound, that's what I would like. These are okay, these are like Sony ones. Anyway, let's go to the gym. Whoa, what a sashi. Oh, washing smells delicious. Do you know what? I know that I got sent this washing machine, but I was thinking about it when I was hanging my washing out yesterday. If I was forced to repurchase something, like, how, no wait, how am I explaining it? If I had to rebuy anything that I'd been sent as a PR product, my washing machine is what I would buy. My washing just smells absolutely delicious. It's that twin dust system, and then all we do is add this. We add some of these to the actual drum, just because we both love the smell of this fairy, and it's next level. But my washing machine is my most prized possession and one day I'll stop talking about it, but probably not one day soon. That was a good gym session. I'm, um, first of all, I just, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who wrote the most gorgeous messages on uh, last week's vlog. It was a bit of a low vibe vlog, um, but I now realise how important it is to still post those moments because... That's, that is reality and that is what we crave and what we definitely don't see enough of. So I'm glad I posted it, but I'm also just so grateful for the community that I have on this channel. It was a week that I really needed to go through in order to break down to breakthrough. That's what I keep saying. I had this real huge dip that week where I was like, what have I achieved this year? What have I got going on? Like so much has slipped, my self care is horrendous yada 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 so I feel like that all had to happen for this week to be what this week has been and I've really prioritized self-care this week so I got home on Sunday about lunchtime and I absolutely ramsacked those two floors um 
did loads of clearing and decluttering and organizing and cleaning and hoovering and then like sat down on Sunday night and just thought right like let's get sorted. I really feel like I have now removed the pressure for this year and all I want to do is create content and show up and that's my priority. My priority is not to land any huge big when I say it's not my priority, what I mean is like, it's not in the forefront of my mind to go and chase these huge big pro projects this year. I don't have the mental capacity for that. And I definitely don't have um, the right help as I need it just yet. And it's just not something that I have the capability to think about. So I've taken the pressure off myself and all I wanna do for the next four months of this year is prioritize self care, get everything feeling like I have control of it within my realms again. Things like my routines had all slipped, every single thing. So I'd wake up in the morning, scroll. I'd go to bed having just scrolled. I wouldn't even make my bed, like so bad. Some of my habits had slipped so bad. Got up on Monday and I didn't look at my phone for the first 45 minutes. Um, I've been out for a walk every day. I'm trying to increase my exercise again or movement, I prefer to call it. My eating's been really like back on, I don't wanna say back on track because I don't like that sort of language, but I've been way more mindful of the food that I've been eating this week. I'm just doing little things, but I'm not trying to overwhelm myself. I still have a way to go. I still have more things to do and more things to, to fit back into. I don't like that, the, the phrase of like going back. It's not what I like to use, but I have more things I have many more positive habits and changes to implement into my life. But having removed that pressure, which is something I'm very bad at, it's making me realise that I just need to do a little bit at a time. Next week, I would like to be off my phone by a certain time and back into reading before I go to bed. And I want to look at getting a alarm clock so I don't have to use my phone to, as my alarm. Hello, Shelby George. Hello. How was your run, darling? What have you got there? Well, went into Marks and Spencers because we were almost low on our coughs. Didn't have our favourite, so I've gone wild. Peruvian. Whoa, I like the packaging. So did I, that's the main reason I went for it. Of course. <laughs> Peruvian ground coffee, strength number five and ten. Mm, so my favourite magazines, and they come as a pair House and Garden and World of Interiors together. Hey, 7.99 in Marks Expenses. We have made mad progress on my bedroom, by the way. Not, oh, okay. not mad progress for you to see. Like, I'll show you a little bit of it, but we've ordered loads of my styling... Furniture. Yeah, furniture and bits. Shelves has designed the room for me. And so it's all starting to come together, isn't it? Yes. I'm starving as well. Well, you know that we're not going to... We're going to do till half one today. Yeah. Once we get a coffee down there, so we had much water. No. Let's get some water. Let's get some coffee. Let's fill that up. I was just telling everybody about my new implementing good, healthy habits back into my life. Nice. But I don't like this phrase when you say like, I need to get back on track or I need to get this back into my life. I don't want to be going backwards, just forwards, upwards and onwards. Do you know what I mean? Mm. We need to change language. You know how I feel about changing language. I need to improve my healthy my habits. My healthy habits, yeah. She knows. It's very important the language you use for yourself. Or just, I need to work on my healthy habits. I need to improve my habits. Yeah. I honestly think that Nina's waits for you to be home to do a pig. Yeah, he does. Doesn't he? Every time. Take that on shelves, I'm doing a shit! Oh, he's struggling to get that one out, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, that looked like a proper nugget. Do you reckon that's normal? I feel like it needs to be a bit looser, isn't it? I think he might be a bit constipated. Are you constipated, baby? Do you need some prunes? Hey, darling. A little bit constipated. Mm. She's making us a big jerk. By the way, these ice cubes, we love them. Did we get this from Amazon? Yes, I believe we did. Massive QB ice cubes. Can I just show them? I just washed my hands. <laughs> Look at that. I think I might go and have a quick shower 
and make myself look a bit nice. Just a little bit nice. I think that's a great idea. So my new little addition is one of my side tables has arrived. This is from Rose and Grey. We had to compromise on styling because we do have different tastes, but I love it. We also need to get a, I need to get a valance for this side of the bed, but I started tucking my duvet in like SG and it does make a difference. And that washing that I just pulled out um, was too big pink euro cushions that are going to go at the back because I don't have a headboard but I've got another side table coming this like bronze oblong mirrored thing that's going to go there I'm yet to get my units to go there then there's going to be a mirror I've also got these gorgeous um magazine rack things I can't explain it but they're en route and they will be maybe put there or I'm not sure and then I also need to get a big like throw but it is starting to come together and I am going to be getting it painted very soon so yeah even things like that it's taken me so long to just order the bits that i needed to order and purchase the things that we put on like the shelves it has made this like mood board thing also have the most stunning lamp coming that shelves has found for me i think she found it for herself but then i said i liked it too <laughs> um so yeah shelves has found that but i'm gonna have a quick shower and make myself look a little bit more presentable for the day Love her. She's put a little water and coffee on my desk for me. Another thing that's massively slipped. I'm not drinking enough water. So I have drunk lots this week. I've still been keeping my skin routine extremely simple because of this rash. Very close to the end. I feel like it's nearly gone. But some days I look at it and I think, oh, it does feel a bit sore. I'm trying to raise my skincare routine again raise isn't the right word but just you know bring bring back the important stuff and I've decided to start with a vitamin c because it's so beneficial but not like that abrasive whereas using my retinols again feels a bit scary right now so talking of self-care do you want to know what I'm doing today I've booked myself in for a pedicure now, some people like absolutely love having pedicures. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but whilst my my toenails at the moment, they, I just haven't had one for ages. And much like having my nails done, when I have my, like when I have really nice painted toenails, it does make me feel really like put together. So I've booked myself in at the beauty spa in I can't remember what it's actually called, the day start in Nailsy. And I'm very excited. Peruvian coffee slaps. I've done some good emailing then and got a little bit on top of well cleared my inbox basically I've gone for no mascara today just thought you know what not in the mood for someone who hates being late I am late rather often so that'll be a new change I'll implement next week will it be more organized I want to show you my toes I got the nicest toes in the world but they look better now, don't they? And from my favourite waitrose, cucumber, blueberries, some Greek yoghurt, celery for the soup, mixed baby tomatoes, carrots, a little treat for us, some peaches, some strawberries, some rice for the soup, some mint and some parsley. And Shelves is looking... I don't know if we told you this, but Shelves is painting this. High glass pink, baby. High glass pink. What are you thinking? Uh, well, obviously I got that through the post this morning that I ordered and 
I am like absolutely obsessed, but I think it might be a little bit too punchy. I'm looking at like pleasing pink or something like that. Mm -hmm. Had a lovely time at the salon, but I didn't film because I just got in there. I thought, no, you know what? We said about relaxing and I'm gonna relax. I'm starving. Yeah, I think we left it too long because I've also got a bit mental as well. Yeah, great. We have seen me eat this a thousand times, but I can't not show you what I've had for breakfast. I bought some new eggshells. Yeah, what do you think those? Eggs? I bought the organic mm, ones. Nice. Whoa, she's in her zone. I wonder where this recipe originates from. I, I predict turkey. Yeah, I think it's Turkish. I just love it. I, mean, I love Turkish food, me. Yeah, same. Um, Sorry, you're in paint mode. Personally, I mean, I still think this is like the classiest colour and just stunning. I just worry that if we get like, you could go something like bare pink, which is very soft. Nah, that's a little girly, isn't it? But this is what I mean. As soon as you start going into those really pale pinks. Let me try and show them even though it won't. Do you know what you could do? It's a little bit wild. Going for this colour. You could, paint, you could paint your ceiling that colour as well, have the whole room. Whoa, that would look stunning, wouldn't it? It would look very cool, because imagine whatever light fittings you have um, on the ceiling would look pretty groovy. And because you're going to get someone to do it, it would be really easy for them. That would look quite cool. Yeah, it? that's exactly the shade I thought you were going for when you said you wanted to do it. Mm. What colour is that called? I think it's got quite a cool name. Nancy's blushes. As long as he meets <laughs> me. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Hey, we were singing that song earlier. I feel like that's a sign. You know, you know, we were singing Um Papa, Um Papa. Yeah. That's from Oliver, Nancy's song. I don't even I mean, you know, I know nothing about Oliver. So I was just wondering what the hell you're singing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'd be the artful dodger, you and Oliver. What does the artful dodger do? <laughs> that. Does he? Or a Fagan. Would she be a Fagan? Goes. I don't know how this book. Have you seen Oliver the Musical? Didn't you come and watch JJ in it? Probably not, no. I hated anything at school, didn't I? Have I seen Oliver? Probably only seen the movie when I was very, very young. I think we I think we should watch it because I think you'd love it. You'd love Bill Sykes. Come on, Bullseye. Bullseye's his dog. Watch the theatre or the, the movie. The movie. The movie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have seen the movie. Yeah, we're gonna watch it again. Yeah, great. Our newest addiction is this. Bon Mama. So we've got That's a fig mama. one. We got the berry one to begin with. Then I picked up the fig one. Then I got the cherry one. I think I'm going to have cherry. Do you know what I'm going to do? Mix. Yeah. I don't know. Look at it. It's so thick. It's so thick and creamy. Delicious. I've come back to life because I've eaten. I'm gonna make chicken soup now. This is the chicken leftover we from dinner last night. And I put the stock in the fridge and I've just scraped off all the fat, well, the layer of fat on the top. And I'm gonna make the rest of the stock from boiling the bones, but then like strip all the meat off first. This is that soup that I've made a million times, the Mellis Cook's recipe ones. So it's like Turkish soup. Bit similar to my the one that my AI used to make as well, Akolamani. Um our favourite. I've split the carcass from the meat. There will be some more that I can pull off at a later stage. And I've popped an onion quartered, snapped half, snapped a stick of celery in half, and a carrot, some bay leaves, some pepper, black peppercorns. This isn't exactly the recipe, I've just kind of, I don't know, adapted it. Some salt, and then I'll pop this in and then fill up the rest with water to about here. Bring it to the boil and simmer. This is definitely the best chicken stock I've ever made, look. It's like fully, that is proper stock, that. Get in. We've entered soup season, strap in. I feel so exhausted today and I'm wondering if it's because I've like changed up my routine so much this week like my body's not been used to god my toes are great hey gorgeous hey gorgeous my, maybe my body's not been used to whoa come on darling 
Little baby Linus has been really tired lately. Shelves is just upstairs booking in some appointments because I am looking to change my car soon. Um, and no, I bought my car from Motor Point in Newport about five years ago. No, not that long four years ago maybe and bought it second hand it had like 9,000 miles on and my car's been incredible to me I've absolutely loved it however it's getting to the stage where you have two options it always happens with a car you either run it into the ground or you like churn it over so because I do so much driving I definitely don't want to run a car like that to the ground um it's a BMW X1 so we're just looking at other options and Shelbs is booking in test drives next week which is very exciting and that I won't buy a car brand new I literally refuse because it's just the most stupidest thing ever but I'll look to do a similar thing so go and test drive see what car I like and then we can go and find like maybe go to motor point again or I'm not sure but I have actually found the car that I want go on in here then oh what a lovely cuddle ninners Oh, <laughs> why is he so cute? Is that comfortable? I have found the car that I want, and the car I want is the Toyota. Don't even know what it's called, to be fair. Basically, we were talking about good brands of cars. You know, I love a big beefy. Um, a lot of the big beefies in America aren't over here. I genuinely asked uh, Stephen from Nissan to check it, how I get that car. That's it. Oh, wow, are we doing spooning? Right, I'm trying to do this whilst Nina's is cuddling me, but this is it, the all-new Land Cruiser. She is a big, beefy girl. I love her. Annoyingly, though, it's not out until 2024, but I can wait. How do you feel about going to Home Sense and sniffing the autumn candles? Yeah. You know, I've been dying to get out of the house for a while now. Good morning. Hello, Shelby speaking. Me and Shelby have found a really unhealthy snack. But I'm going to show you it because it's amazing. Pretzels. The best chocolate spread you'll ever find in your life. Ever. Someone got jelly. <laughs> I did. It's just great down the bar, of me. No, but I did just think we might need some more. Well, I'm not putting that back. Bloody empty. Is it? There's still a little bit more in there. Oh. <laughs> I want a bit. Mm. Mm. Not that bad, is it? I don't know. Oh, the worst thing is to uh, put it in your mouth, isn't it? You know what we've not told everybody? Well, that you're a spy. Well, they know that. <laughs> This is Shelby George's last but one vlog that she's going to appear in for seven weeks. That's a long, that's seven vlogs. You think, can you remember what we did seven vlogs ago? I don't know. No? God, Probably I feel, cried. I feel sorry for the people, to be honest. Oh no. Seven without me. I reckon I'm going to lose subscribers. They'll be <laughs> dropping like flies, won't they? Yeah, I counted the other day. It's seven weeks you're gone. If I came back on the, like around the fifth. Yeah. Sad, isn't it? No, it's gonna be weird. It is gonna be weird. And then when we're together again, we'll sing. What will we sing? Janet Jackson's together again. Oh, nice. So we're going to Home Sense because I have got a bit of an itch to look at the or smell the wintry autumn candles. Trace needs to chop my layers choppier. They're too long. Shania ain't gonna pick me out from the crowd on Saturday with these long layers, is she? Are you near the front? Are you going to be near the front? I know, we're, we're in a box. In a box. <laughs> I'm going with It Cosmetics and Urban Decay, which I'm very excited about. Hopefully I'll go VIP backstage and give her a hug and start singing to her and get my guitar out. I ain't got a guitar. Your air guitar. Oh yeah, air guitar, yeah, it's the best one. Uh, did I ever tell you that someone once commented on, someone once commented on YouTube, they put a comment underneath, it was after the Nashville vlogs, and they were like, uh, sorry, air guitar is not funny anymore, just do it too often. <laughs> So I made sure in the next vlog so they did it more. <laughs> I love that. I had done air guitar for a while. I could have done it to that song this morning. I, I did a bit of air guitar this morning. I enjoyed it. Oh, uh, I like this yellow one. Mm, I know, I'm kind of into the yellow. But it would just feel completely out of place with everything. And it's also picture. a little bit plasticky. These aren't that great because you can't see them though, right? Yeah. They're nice I though. I really love that, just the classic kind of. 
That's a bit vibey in there. Will you let me put this in my room? These are nice, this range. Whoa, look at this whole colour. Mimosa and something, whatever that is. Like, it does get a bit silly, doesn't it? Please tell me how cereal milk has a scent to it. Does that... Mm. It's awful. Smell this one, red saffron and cedar blue. Oh, what about this, eucalyptus and basil? Is that the one you made? I prefer the basil on the other one, yeah. I like that. It's a bit of chicken on the end. This is why you should never get complacent in relationships, keeps romance alive. Yes, these little things that really make make or break. In it, Cheryl. I mean, you're asking me about the one of the worst memories. Yes. No idea. Yeah, man. Oh gosh, we eat good here, don't we? I'll leave the recipe down below. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before, but just in case. I didn't buy that much in Home Sense, but I got this little bin for my bathroom because I need one. And it's actually a very good quality one. I bought this olive oil. Oh, obviously just loved the tin, didn't I? Only 6 99 Gorge. I bought these because I'm big into my colouring at the moment. <laughs> I've started using the colouring book, I'll show you in a sec. Finding it a mindful exercise. And then I bought this eucalyptus and basil candle for the kitchen. Really into this brand. I've not seen it in TK Maxx or Home Sense before. Villa Hermanos. What was that from? Breaking Bad, wasn't it? Lovely soft clothes, what we like to see. This is the book that I've been using. I bought it a few years ago. This is my latest one that I'm doing. There she is. So I did a mixture of pen, uh, colouring pencil and felt pen. I, I found it really relaxing, so I've been making sure that I do that often. Good night, you silly slag. Good night, my angel. <laughs> you were so polite back to me. Linus is in bed. It's actually only half past eight. Shelves is clocked off for the night, so I was like, well, yeah, ready for bed. Half past eight, I'm going to have to try and hold out a little bit. I am going to put my new pillows on um, my bed. So I got these from Dunhelm. And they... Hmm, they feel lovely. Because I don't have a headboard on my bed. Nimes, you're not allowed to sleep in here every night. Just the nights when you're poorly or sad. Look a bit random at the moment, but I think when the when the whole bed's made up, it will look good. I mean, it's kind of silly doing this because I'm gonna get into bed in a minute. But we've got two other pillow, little like what do you call them cushions to come, decorative cushions. And I think Shelby says that you'll only need one in front. I don't know, I'll have to get her to dress it up in the morning to see what she thinks, but I love the colour. I just don't know how I feel about two like borders like that, but maybe I can just keep those pillows and that'll look a bit better when I've got the other decorative cushions and like a pink fur and stuff. No. <laughs> so one thing that I've done this evening is I've posted my, um, I had an article, it was actually ghost written, which people say you shouldn't say, because if it's ghost written, you're meant to just like, oh no, I can't do that, it's weird. But I had an interview with uh, Mina, who is a journalist for Stylist Magazine, and she ghost wrote a piece for me about the divorce and stuff like that. And I've posted it on Instagram today, so I'll leave the link below for you to go and have a read. And it, yeah, it, it was uh, emotional, but Shelbs hadn't read it yet. And there is a part in here that she's obviously just read it and sent me this photo. She's crying. <laughs> but it says, reconnecting with Shelby and sharing such an intimate friendship in my 30s has given me all the things society says you can only get from falling in love. It's cute, isn't it? It's a love story between us, mate. It is a love story, darling. Me and you forever. 
but yeah, God, I just totally didn't realise. It's the same thing as when I started first speaking about like my breakup and stuff. I, you don't do these things when you live your life online. It's every day is navigating it. You just don't, there's no rule book, you know? And I remember at the time being so overwhelmed with the response. Like I just posted that day kind of not, with no expectations at all. And it has gone a bit crazy and the comments have been really emotional. I guess just one of those things because it's so not spoken about. I don't feel like excited that the post has done well or happy or anything like that. I feel just kind of like the whole situation is just sad. It's a sad situation. And it's been a really difficult situation to navigate. And ultimately, like I said in the post, I wouldn't trade any of it if it meant exchanging that for the woman I am today and the woman I've grown into. It doesn't mean it's been easy because it hasn't. It's been really hard. So many ups and downs, so many. And for way longer than I expected either. Like I really thought, it was like a cut off time when I had that big breakdown that Sunday. I was like, oh, this is it now. I won't even cry about it again. And last week was probably one of the hardest weeks to date. So yeah, it's a bit never ending. Under the comment section of this post, Billy's written, your heartbreak made you whole. Beyond proud of you. <laughs> Got the best friends in the entire world, you know. It's honestly ridiculous. Friends, family, everyone around me. I am just the luckiest person surrounded by so much love anyway i am going to take my makeup off it's only literally only 20 to 9 so i'm gonna take my makeup off get into bed with my laptop and i'm actually gonna do a little bit of shopping and get shopping a birthday present because she's flying to new zealand next week and we're having a birthday party for her on tuesday we are vlogging that though so you'll see that so I've got to start getting my prep on for that. We're having a little dinner party, just only four of us. I've got to get my menu sorted and that. But yeah, I'm going to have a shower, take my makeup off, have my peppermint tea. Time really slips away when you spend hours scrolling. What I'm going to bring into next week is turning my phone off by a certain time. I'm going to say nine o'clock. And we, nine or half nine. I think half nine and then read my book before I go to bed every night. That's going to be something that I'm going to bring into next week. But anyway, I'm proud of my little self-care changes that I've brought into this week. And I know it's been a very low-key chilled vlog today. But next week's will be fun. And we're approaching autumn. Can't say the word yet. Time. And we know that that up to the content i also do two videos a week in november and december regardless of whether i can make it happen at the other times of the year so um yeah i am gonna hold up i am holding up my end of the bargain there if you haven't already please give this comment a like subscribe to the channel and give me a comment down below because i do love chatting to you in the comments um thank you so much i hope you've had a good week also and i will see you next week Love you.